We've all been there. We want to improve, we want to be holier, and we want to be perfect. Then, after a little while, we hit a wall and we give up. Our newest Saint John Henry Newman has a few ideas. Saint John Henry Newman was a famous British convert to Catholicism from the Anglican Church. Despite rejection from his peers, he remained influential because of his powerful and prolific writings. Legendary writer James Joyce listed out who he thought were the two greatest English writers, Lord Byron and John Henry Newman. Cardinal Newman says, If we wish to be perfect, we have nothing more to do than to perform the ordinary duties of the day well. We don't necessarily have to go around the world evangelizing or starting a religious order. We need to simply do our current duties well and with great love. Step 1. Do not lie in bed beyond the due time of rising. What better way to move to perfection than to make the right choice at the very first moment possible? Getting out of bed right when you should shows that you want to make the day about God and others, not your own comfort. St. Jose Maria Escriva says this, Conquer yourself each day from the very first moment, getting up on the dot, at a fixed time, without yielding a single moment to laziness. If, with God's help, you conquer yourself, you will be well ahead for the rest of the day. It's so discouraging to find oneself beaten at the first skirmish. Step 2. Give your first thoughts to God. After denying yourself comfort, give your first waking thoughts to God. Many saints recommend praying three Hail Marys to start the day. Another great prayer is the morning offering. There are many possible morning offering prayers to pray, but here is a standard one. Step 3. Make a good visit to the Blessed Sacrament. Our greatest treasure is Jesus Christ truly present in the Eucharist. It would hardly be a perfect day if we didn't attempt to at least visit him. Here are some great ways to pray. Adoration, recognizing God for who he is. Contrition, apologizing for our sins and imperfections and asking for his mercy. Thanksgiving, recognizing and giving gratitude for the many gifts and graces God has given. Supplication, asking for the needs of others and for your own needs. Step 4. Say the Angelus devoutly. The Angelus is a short prayer traditionally said at sunrise, noon, and sunset. It was a reminder for those to surround their day in prayer, recalling the Incarnation. Saying the Angelus is a great way to stop getting completely sucked into our work, and instead to remember God. Step 5. Eat and drink to God's glory. St. Paul writes, So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God. Just like waking up in the morning, we all have to eat. Our meal times are a great way to recall God by giving thanks and keeping Him in mind, especially when with others. To mindlessly eat would make us just like the animals. Step 6. Say the Rosary well. The Rosary is one of the most powerful prayers we can pray after the Mass itself. St. Louis de Montfort said, Never will anyone who says his Rosary every day be led astray. St. Padre Pio said, Go to the Madonna, love her. Always say the rosary, say it well, say it as often as you can, be souls of prayer. Asking for Mary's intercession is a classic and surefire way to stay close to her son. Step 7. Be recollected. It's so natural for our minds to get caught up in all the things that we have to do. We have to actively remember God and our relationship with Him. We should habitually ask ourselves these types of questions all day. Are our intentions pure? Are we acting for ourselves or for God? Are we focusing and working hard on our current duty? Are we even working on what we're supposed to be working on? Step 8. Keep out bad thoughts. Pairing well with recollection, we need to be mindful of where our thoughts go. Sometimes bad thoughts slip into our minds without our control, and it's our job to fight back against them. Are we wishing evil on our neighbor? Are we focused on ourselves or on the well-being of others? When temptation strikes, do we attempt to push it away, or do we let it linger? Many sins have their roots in thoughts that we let in. It is easiest if we eliminate them while they're still small. Step 9. Make your evening meditation well. The evening meditation is a classic devotion where we take a passage of scripture or a writing on a deep thought and spend time wrestling with it. This is often a great way to integrate the Bible into your daily prayer routine and to bring inspiring thoughts at a tiring time of the day. Just as the day was begun with good thoughts, so too should we conclude it with pondering God. Step 10. Examine yourself daily. St. Ignatius of Loyola, the founder of the Jesuits, thought examining yourself every day was one of the most important things you could do. Here is his recommended method. 
It's hard for us to improve if we don't know where we've been and we don't know where we are now. Step 11, go to bed in good time. If you want to reliably stay in perfection, you have to finish the day off well and set yourself up for success the next day. Ending your day well with peace and with God is just as important as beginning the day. St. John Henry Newman had a gift for making these lofty concepts more practical. I hope his steps to perfection can start making you the saint you are called to be.